الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أسأل الله كريم رب العرش العظيم أن يتولنا في الدنيا والآخرة We ask that our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all, forgive us all, and guide us, rectify our condition and affairs. Bless us with the class, with the bat, and put this on our scale of good deeds, not our scale of bad deeds. Ahabatifillah, listen to these two ayat, these two verses in the Quran, which show us the importance of knowledge and being away from evil and ignorance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem wa tilka hudud Allah yubayyinuha liqawmi ya'lamun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-mubin wa tilka hudud Allah this is the that is the path uh, that is the boundaries of Allah and he clarifies it <coughs> for a people who know you know a people who know or understand <clears throat> this verse, Ahabat it shows us the importance of what? Of understanding. Understanding what? Understanding the boundaries of Allah. How do we do that? We do that through al Mashara. We do that through knowledge of Islam. <clears throat> knowledge of the Kitab, knowledge of the Sunnah, of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That is all good. All goodness comes from that path. And if you want to know what the difference between what is something is halal, something is haram, or whether... <clears throat> or whether it is something which is permissible for you or not. All of that has to do with the hudud of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It has to do with the boundaries your Lord has set. <clears throat> and you can only do that through al through knowledge of the sharia, knowledge of Islam. <clears throat> then you are aware of what the boundaries of Allah are. You know what's halal, you know what's haram, bi'idhnillah ta'ala, and you, have, you know how to uh, gain uh, knowledge, and closure with regards to those issues so that way you don't fall into disobedience to Allah. Also, Allah Azza wa Jal says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَتِلْكَ الْأَمْثَالِ نَضْرِبُهَا لِلنَّاسِ وَمَا يَعْكُلُهَا إِلَّا الْعَالِمُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Mubin, and, and that is the uh, examples, those examples, نَضْرِبُهَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us and, and, and given us these examples linnas for people. And no one ya'kulaha. <clears throat> and no one uh, uh, you know those who have intellectual understanding, those who who understand it. Meaning, understand those examples Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given. No one understands that except for the people of knowledge. Except for the ones who have knowledge. What do they have knowledge of? Are they doctors, businessmen, lawyers? Not exactly. They are people of Islamic knowledge. Because that is your navigation. That is your means to everything. Uh, and to knowing the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Knowing what is lawful and what's unlawful. Know what you can do and what you can't do. And what will be pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what will gain is anger. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless he, us with his pleasure and forgive us of our many sins.